Hello everybody, um, y'all have probably heard me talk about my mother, especially if you watch the Raggedy Dean and Andy video, but um, and you've probably also heard me say that she was a doll collector too and she's the one that got me into doll collecting. Well, I thought I would show you my mother's collection. Of course, she has... She probably doesn't have as many antique dolls. She probably has mainly vintage dolls. Dolls that she had when she was younger. But um, I thought it'd still be nice to show her collection. And we're starting in here, which is our sunroom. Because she has them throughout the house. Okay, we have some here, we have a little Andy, and we have a big Holly Hobby, and a, the, I call her Big Bertha. She's just a little rag doll, and she's cute. Okay, we over here we have two porcelain dolls. Some of them might be Ashton Drake, I don't know. But, um, and that's an F and B. And this right here was actually a doll my mom had when she was a little girl. A neighbor made the dress for this doll. Um, we found her later in a box and I cleaned her up and cleaned the outfit for her. Actually, I think she's a walk walker doll too. We have some Cabbage Patch Kids fairies, and of course this is a sunroom, so it's not complete. So a sunroom is not complete without fairies. And we have this teddy bear right here. I do not know much about these teddy bears, but they're marked. And um, this is wood. And she's wearing my favorite color, which is purple. But she also has a, um, a tag. Trisha. And then we have this little one. My little niece, we have this one out here for my little niece. She actually, she likes this doll. She just likes to take his shoes off. So we constantly are having to find the shoes. Okay, my niece loves these two right here. Which is probably why they're slouching. But, um... They're hard stuffed and, um... They're supposed to have a tag on them. But I guess my mother must have taken the tag off from my niece. One. But she got these up in a, at a yard sale somewhere, and they're cute. Now this one is not really a doll. It's a mannequin. And she sits here at the window and looks out at everybody who comes through our front porch. And people, and she scares people sometimes. She's dressed in a nice little nightgown kind of like dress. And she stands there, staring out the window. Okay, that was the sunroom. Now on to my mother's room. Okay. We have an Ashton Drake doll here. She's really cute. My mother's theme is kind of Victorian a little. So, yeah. And then here's two other dolls. We have no idea what this doll is, and as you see, she's not in the best condition, as her eyes. But she's supposed to crawl. And I think she's made by, um... Oh. It's good thing this dress is made with snaps.
Uh, it's hard to do this with only one hand. She's 1967 Mattel. So she's from the 1960s, she's from 67, and she's a Mattel doll. And I just thought she was actually kind of cute. I mean, someone could fix up her eyes. Okay, and this is another little doll my niece loves. And I've known this one for years since I was little. Um, she's a, um... She's a 69 Horseman doll. She's just cute. Okay, we have this composition doll, which, um... Actually, I have the picture up on my Facebook, and someone identified this doll and told me who it was, or who it was and stuff, but I just can't remember at the moment. And then we have this one. My daddy bought this doll for my mom. Her name is, um, Susu. And she's a bed sitter doll, but right now we have her sitting in this rocking chair. Ah. <sighs> And then we have this little girl right here. This is not her original dress. Her original dress was a wedding dress like and she um it was in such bad shape we took it off. But she has a um completely rubber body. And um we had to do a little something with her hair. Now we also have this little cabinet up here. Have a little celluloid boy and a little Indian. Some teddy bears and that little doll right there was actually my mother's when she was little. My pa my grandparents brought that back from the beach for my mother. Then we have these dolls up here. And then for the vanity right here, we have these two. I have no idea much about these two. This is a wig underneath the scalp of what's left of her hair. It's not her real hair, so yeah. And then we have this grow hair Chrissy. And I fixed her hair up and everything. She still has a little bit of green in her hair from, I guess, her previous owner. Don't know why. But yeah. Then we have this girl. She's composition with a cloth body. And um, she's cute. And this is Swingy and her little sister. My mother found this doll at a doll show last year. And she had one of these dolls when she was little. And her father had to fix that doll so many times until it just, you know, Black gave out. And then we have a Shirley Temple. And this is an Annie doll. And the sun will come out tomorrow. Yeah, I can't sing, just ignore me. And this is a Mattel Little Miss No Name. She is missing her tear and her coin. Here is just a little bed sitter doll. I mean, the bottom of her is, um, a pillow. My brother Mitchell gave it to my mother a long time ago. And this is another Ashton Drake doll. Now we are going to leave my mother's room. And we're going to go... Sorry, I know that was probably really close up. But now we're going to leave my mother's room and go into the living room and check out the dolls that she has in here. I just kind of need to turn on some lights. Okay. So many light switches in this house. Okay, back in here. If you can see, we have a Gone with the Wind Scarlet um, Madame Alexander doll. Then we have some, yeah, lots of little things down here. Okay. 
<laughs> and these are t another two that my this is just a little doll that my that we got for my niece you know, I, I'm constantly having to fix her hair but this is actually uh, her, her hair is a mess right now but she's usually not like this this is Stevie this is my mother's my twin doll it was made to look like my mother when she was a little girl I know she looks a little Asian but that's because when she smiles my mom smiles her eyes squint so that's Stevie my dad had her made for my mom and she has her own little wardrobe and clothes and everything okay now in here if you can see we have little Debbie dolls and Barbies and a little Debbie Madame Alexander then we have these two little cats which are made from real fur and some Ashton Drake dolls back in here I think that's Sugar Plum right there and that's Tickles but then we have this girl right here and in the back we have the little rascals and this is Jack and Jill they're actually musical and when you wind them up they're supposed to move okay this is one of my mom's doll cases let me just turn on a light okay my mom likes to collect Indian dolls and that's just a cute little character one this one in the back was given to my mother by one of my brother's ex-girlfriends from another country when she went to another country with her college Okay, here we have some little vintage dolls. Heebie Sheebies, F and B, a parent trap, another little F and B doll, some sun rubbers. I don't know what these are, but their outfits are cute. And that's a little McDonald's Madame Alexandria. And in here we have um some other little dolls. These are these paraffin clay dolls right here. And they're just really amazing see there's even a little monkey and there's a little fairy and that's a wool teddy bear made out of one set of wool then we have these dolls right here which walk and stuff and then these are the two Indian chiefs Sitting Bull and Joseph and then we have a cowgirl. <laughs> Which this is kind of ironic having the cowgirl in here with them. Okay, and we have a um a set of reproduction dolls. The best loved dolls of all time. And these are reproductions. And Pilo Baby by Grace and Putnam. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the other doll case. 